Hello and welcome to the Sibsey West Midlands Region vlog and podcast. My name is Josh Brownlee and I'm the chair for the Sibsey West Midlands Region Committee. Over the coming episodes in the series, we'll be looking into the likes of Reba, Bisria and m and and how they come together in the built environment. Most of you will hopefully be familiar with these terms, but this might prove a valuable insight into the design process for others. What is Reba and the plan of works? Reba, the Royal Institute of British Architects, is a professional body that drives excellence in architecture. It also provides guidance and standards within the construction industry. Reba engages with other professional bodies to develop and deliver an overarching approach for every stage of the project life cycle. Taken from their website, the Reba Plan of Works organises the process of briefing, designing, constructing and operating building projects into eight stages and explains the stage outcomes, core tasks and information exchanges required at each stage. The 2020 version follows on from seven years of development from the 2013 version, which most of us remember being a major update. What is Bisria and what do they do? Bisria, the Building Services Research and Information Association, is a member-based association and professional body that promotes knowledge and specialist services for mechanical, electrical and public health services. Bisria Guide 6, commonly known or referred to as BG6, provides valuable guidance and standards for every aspect of m and services. Their continued research and development over the past 60 years have delivered significant changes in energy efficiency, safety standards, building thermal modelling, achieving carbon targets, BIM guides, m and standards and guidance, integration with REBA and much more. What is m and &E or M MEP? MEP, Mechanical, Electrical and Public Health Services are the fundamental building services that can be found within the built environment. Depending on the project, there are many regulations, governing bodies, statutory requirements and guidance that drive the design and requirements of, for the m and &E building services. For example, some residential schemes wouldn't have the same m and &E requirements as perhaps an office space or hospital. Understanding those requirements, the systems and how they can be implemented within the scheme is critical to the successful delivery of a project. Over the coming episodes in the series, we will be looking at how all this ties together with the stages and the stages within the plan of work and why m and &E building services are so important in building services in buildings today and the future. This series has been kindly sponsored by ADR Consulting Engineers who use it and uses content authored and produced by them, which is also available via their blog on their website. ADR are based in Canterbury, but have projects across the country, including within the West Midlands region. ADR are a group of like-minded building services engineers that have established themselves through academic or practical backgrounds. All of their engineers are professionally accredited and have a proven track record in delivering award-winning projects. They love what they do, and this shows through their work. We thank, we thank Lex Ruzi and the team at ADR for their help and support and input to the series.